Hi everyone, welcome. As you can see, I've got the bin out here on the bench that we're going to be feeding. I'm all set with that already. I've even got some foods lined up to give them. I've got some potato peel, some banana peel. Nice little feeding. I got my prepared bedding. I got some grit. All the good stuff that you need. And this 109 day old system is now today getting its 10th feeding. When we started this system quite some time ago, it was thought to have almost a 3,000 worm population. That's a pretty good sized population for a container this size. I guess that's kind of part of the reason it might have received its little nickname of sort of the fast moving bin. And you know, since it's a fast moving bin, it seems to me like 12 days interval between feedings is enough. It's time to get these little guys fed again. So I'm going to put on a glove and we're going to get to work. We were not with the bin a few days ago when it reached its 100th day in service milestone. So happy belated milestone age for this system getting its 10th feeding. Let's see here. I guess as you transition away from plastic coverings, as you saw, it was just a piece of cardboard resting on top. Even though cardboard is a pretty good thick insulating layer, it still allows for a little bit of airflow. And while if this, this and that other piece of paper had been under plastic, they'd be wet, very wet. From recirculating moisture in the system and probably almost eaten up already by now due to the material being kind of damp so being this way get a little bit more dryness happening on the surface but you really don't have to go very deep to get to material that's really nice and damp already clearly a different color much darker and i was wondering how deep we would have to get to start seeing worms I already saw a few just by digging a little bit deeper all right so down here in the middle is where that coffee filter should have been I guess it sort of popped up when we lifted off what was on top of it indicating to us where we last fed I used a few of those coffee filters before opening them up and flattening them out to use as a feeding zone indicator they're still kind of cup shaped and I put four of those each cup or each coffee filter with um, a separate sort of little treat so let's see one of those treats must have been this corn cob <laughs> pretty popular lots of worms hanging out on it I don't know what was here but they must have really liked that because I don't see any sign of it but that's not to the you know that's not trying to say anything bad about the corn cob because the corn cob is a terrific thing that the worms clearly like a lot but just one of those things that's most likely going to take some time to break down in your average worm bin. So, as far as leftovers go, that's all I see. It's not too much. After 12 days, it does seem like a worm population this size, which seems pretty sizable. Um, would have done away with um, an average size feeding like that over the past 12 days. So, I'm going to get um, I'm going to get them fed. Let's let them settle in first. Okay, so now what to build the feeding zone is the next consideration. I've got this nice new, well not new obviously, it's been used in the coffee machine. It's one of those coffee filters not torn open to be flat yet. But we could tear it open to make it flat to become the replacement feeding zone indicator. And that means we could elevate the purpose of the old feeding zone indicator to the next uh, promotion level of importance, worm bin importance which is now bedding for the feeding versus just sitting out on top showing us where we last fed. And let's get some of these leftovers back down into the feeding area. See they're ripping up some of the kernels, but some of them are clearly still on here. I bet you that's not going to last much longer. I did kind of expect that we might see further progress on that, but the corn really sort of have, has um, its own mind of its own almost, I would say, as far as how uh, active it becomes in the worm bins. It, um, sometimes it seems like they jump all over it, other times it seems like they sort of neglect it. I thought about bringing my um, prepared bedding in, like I mentioned earlier, but then I looked around on my table and I found like little pieces of cardboard that um, were just sitting around, taking up space, um, just trimmed off of something different. 
and these were sort of just little cuttings and then here too similarly just a few pieces of newspaper that were uh, trimmed off to get a piece of newspaper to be a certain specific size those things right there all seem like a really nice foundation for a, a worm bin feeding as far as bedding materials go onto it's going to go about a handful or maybe a little bit more of um, potato peel and as far as the banana peels go is that one or two there's one here and there's one here so two banana peels and the peels off of a few potatoes but you can see each of these potato peels is peeled in such a way that a good bit of the actual potato still remains on there and that would be one thing if you were to just peel it right into the bin never freezing it first that would make it an entirely different story that stuff would take quite a while to break down it might even start to try to grow on you <laughs> so having had this potato peel in the freezer I believe um, primes it for a good softening so that the worms can come by and start nibbling on it and I, by, I think by freezing it too maybe it um, stunts its or kills its possibility of starting to try to grow in the bins because usually when I freeze it I never see the stuff trying to grow all right so before we can come in with the replacement feeding zone indicator we're going to uh, have to level off but let's first sort of cover up the feeding zone in such a way that we can even kind of reach beyond out to the edge give the material in the bin a good aeration it does seem like the feeding area was the popular spot because so many worms were found there when we excavated not so many and those outer edges that we just examined well one outer edge we just got the other one over here I'm also curious to see how things over here look here I'm seeing definitely more worms in the material so sometimes I wonder if it might have something to do with the side of the bin that's facing the concrete foundation the wall versus the air in the room with the assumption that the air in the room might be warmer and possibly causing worms to be you know attracted to it or vice versa maybe they sense that it's cooler on one end of the bin that's what they'd rather be in so sometimes I do wonder if the um, concentration of worms in the material is sort of shifting based on what they're sensing in the surrounding environment even as um, fine as one side of the bin being more comfortable to be in versus the other edge of the bin all right systems doing great Worms look healthy and happy. The material's all nice and loose and flowing. It's got all the qualities of a, a nice worm. Been doing great. Just past its 100th day in service, getting its 10th feeding. Yeah, these red wigglers are doing a good job. And I definitely like these coverings, too. The, the way this covering set up is here with um, a piece of paper pretty tightly wrapped around all the edges, not allowed, allowing hardly any airflow past itself. And then um, here, too, a you know, semi-porous um, but pretty thick not that thick piece of piece of cardboard holding it all down keeping it nice and flat but also promoting a little bit um, more circulation of moisture beneath itself as opposed to if it were just you know left uncovered or with just something much thinner like just a piece of newspaper so this extra layer I think helps um, helps to keep the material in the system quite healthy all right everyone that's it for our check-in hopefully you enjoyed it if you did as always Please don't forget to leave me a quick thumbs up before you go. That's always really appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel. That's very much appreciated as well. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.